Dancing with the Stars, Halloween came early last night. There were some scary good performances. Unfortunately, one couple had to get the axe. Hayes and Emma join us live in a moment. First, Jesse has a look at all the action. Hey, Jesse. Hey, George. You know, the vampires and werewolves were out for blood on the dance floor last night, or at least high scores. Take a look. Spooktacular spectacles. Things even getting a little hairy on Halloween night on Dancing with the Stars. Boy. <laughs> With only five weeks left in the competition, Bindi Irwin tapping into her spooky side for Fright Night. She and Derek Huff holding their reign atop the leaderboard with a perfect score. That was an Argentine yeah. tango yeah. masterclass. Yeah. Yeah. It was spellbinding dance magic. Don't get adorable now, stay scary. Singer Tamar Braxton making a bold statement. I'm probably the best dancer in the competition. But the judges didn't seem to agree. For me, there's still a disconnect when you guys dance together. You, you didn't feel that? No. But at the end of the show, Hayes and Emma. Vine star Hayes Greer having a fright night, getting sent home after his haunting werewolf waltz. This has meant so much to me. It's been a really life-changing event. And last night was actually the first night ever that Derek Huff has not won the team dance competition, George. Wow, oh, fun fact from Jesse there. Okay, Hayes Greer, Emma Slater, join us now. Welcome, guys. I was just Thank telling you, you, you caused a lot of upset in our house. My little daughter Harper heard you guys got kicked off, sent me a text saying, no, it can't oh, be. Oh, thanks, and, Harper. <laughs> and you had such a great waltz yeah, last was, night. How, how did it feel fun. to go out on a high note? You know, it was good. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to go out the bang. You know, it was nice to be able to win the team dance. That was good. You know, ending Derek's streak, and uh, I don't know. I had a lot of fun in the show, and I had an amazing partner, and I took a lot away from him. Yeah, last night you said Emma was your best friend. What'd you learn working from her? With her? I learned how to dance. <laughs> a lot of British, yeah, you know, British slang. Probably. Yeah, a lot of British slang for sure. But uh, she's been great, and I couldn't ask for a better partner. He really came along, didn't he? Oh, so much. I think out of everybody on the show, it's kind of safe to say that he had the most improvement. Um, I took someone. Who with absolutely no before. dance experience and he like showed me that he can really progress and I'm really really happy this whole season has been amazing I adore him and now you're all ready for the prom yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I got a little more than an average prom from doing Dancing with the Stars but uh, <laughs> it was fun well, so I think you're the youngest the youngest male ever but 15, 15. still do you think that worked against him for him um I think it worked for him I think that he he had so much energy like I had to the, had to stop him from like climbing up the walls sometimes oh, right, um, right. yeah <laughs> so it really helped in rehearsal that he, he didn't peak finished. he was with me the whole time he had a lot of focus so for that I think it was an advantage what was the high point for you Hayes well yeah, there's definitely there, there's definitely ups and downs with uh, being my age and whatnot so you just kind of find your advantages and use them and uh, mm -hmm. frankly I think that having Emma as my partner she used me and my age and my demographic to our advantage and uh, I had a great time on Dancing with the Stars and made some really great really great memories. I'll bet you did you know I, I gotta ask you about yeah. the switch up night. Yeah. Switch Alex up Scarlatta's night. broken nose. I broken know. nose. What happened there? Took a it felt so bad honestly like and then when they took him to the hospital I, it was just awful. I basically turned and I just clipped him with my elbow and we heard this awful just crack, crack, crack like oh. sound. Oh it was oh it was devastating. <laughs> <laughs> but he, we're still, we're still close. We're still great, like friends. And I'm glad that he doesn't hate me for. <laughs> well, he doesn't hate you. I guess. He has, and Aaron kind of trapped you guys. You go on this date, maybe? Oh, uh, we did go on a date. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Props, he danced with a broken nose. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I should because I've kind of broke his nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's gonna go all the way? I want to see Alec go all the way. Not just go. because I broke his You know, nose, uh, you definitely got to root for the people you become close with in the mm. season. And uh, I became close to Carlos. So I, I gotta, I gotta give it to him. He's doing really well. Okay, we got a little split right there. Yeah. Great to have you guys. Thank Thanks you. for coming this Thank morning. You. Thank you for Dancing the Stars is on Monday at eight, seven Eastern, seven Central, right here on ABC.